Welcome to the channel. We got something entirely new reviewing today that I'm really excited about because over the past week in a hundred degree weather, which is super rare here in the Seattle area, Seattle area, my family and I have been prepping the ground, hauling all kinds of dirt and installing our first above ground pool. I fought against this for a while because I know pools are a ton of work, but with the heat continuously growing over the summers, I was finally convinced. We ended up putting in the largest pool we can fit onto the side of our house so we didn't have to mess up our yard or anything. And we went with this 18 by nine by 52 inch deep pool. But I grew up with a pool and I know pools come with a lot of maintenance. And just trying to get the chemicals right and figuring that set out has set my head completely spinning. Not to mention all the work of daily cleaning the pool. So that leads to what we're reviewing today. A company called Apier reached out to me and asked me if I would review and share with my viewers a couple of their cordless robotic pool cleaners. And it just couldn't be better timing. So the two that they sent me was the Scuba S1 and the Scuba S1 Pro. And the Scuba S1 is their most recommended, the most purchased one that, according to their website, that they sell. So we're gonna be taking a look at that one today and I'll tell you about this in a minute. And then next month, we're gonna go and dive into their Pro version, which has all kinds of cool features that actually skims along the top of your pool and all this crazy stuff. To be honest, I just can't believe we live in a world today where this kind of stuff exists. But I'm very thankful for it. Now, most of the videos that I've seen about these are all about in-ground pools. Even on the website, it talks about them being for in-ground pools, but they say it'll work for an above-ground pool, so I'm really excited to see if it actually does the job. I can understand it cleaning the floor of the pool because that's pretty simple, but can it actually climb the walls and can it actually skim across the top with the pro version and actually get this all done? So today for the first time, I'm gonna drop it in the pool and really test this thing out. But while we're waiting for the sun to come out to get better lighting, let me tell you a little bit about this C1, the features, things like that, and then we're gonna dive in the pool with it and see what this thing's capable of. All right, here we go. I'm gonna throw this at you fast. This cleans a pool up to 1,600 square feet it has a 3.5 liter debris bin. It has a 150 minute life battery while cleaning up to 70 gallons of water per minute. If you're going on vacation, it has this mode called economy mode where you can leave it in your pool and then three times a week, it'll turn on for 45 minutes and clean your pool. So when you get home, your pool is nice and clean. It has caterpillar threads for mobility and brushless motors, which allow the S1 to climb walls up to 105 degrees. Again, we'll see about that because I'm pretty sure my walls go like this, not like this. But to be honest, if it just cleaned the floor, I'd be happy. Because it's on like a track system, it's really good at maneuvering obstacles inside of your pool, like maybe a kid left something down there. Basically, it cleans by scrubbing from the front and vacuuming right behind that scrubber, similar to your vacuum you use in your house. And it does all this by using acceleration sensors, internal sensors, and an algorithm to navigate the pool. It has a charging time of three to four hours, and it has four different cleaning modes. You have floor mode, wall mode, automatic, and then the periodic economy mode we talked about a little earlier. All right, so here's the pool we're gonna be testing in. It's got a couple obstacles in it right now, so here's what it looks like. We got a skimmer right there that it's gonna have to deal with. It's got the inlets, and it even has a ladder, and I'm not gonna take them out so we can really see just how good this thing is actually gonna be able to navigate some of this. You can see it is an above ground pool here beside my house, and again, it is about 18 feet long, 52 inches deep, so about 48 inches deep. And one thing that I've been curious about is that on the sides of the pool, you can see that they actually like curve, right? They're not exactly straight up and down. And it says it can do more than a 90 degree angle when it climbs. So I'll be curious to see how that all works when it comes to all that. So let's get right into the actual unit here. So when you when you take this and you put it in the pool, the way it's supposed to work is you sort of turn it on, drop it in, and then it just starts cleaning. But when you turn it on, you press and hold. And I don't know if you can see that there, but it says right now it's gonna do like the full mode or auto mode. And basically that means it's gonna do the sides and it's going to do the bottom of the pool. But if you press it again, I can make it do just the bottom of the pool or I can make it do just the sides of the pool. And if you press it another time, then it goes onto economy mode, which we are not gonna be doing right now. So let's do just the bottom of the pool here first. And you can hear it kind of constantly turning on. That's the pump testing to see if it's in the water. So let's just take it and drop it right in. And there's nothing really special about dropping it in. Just sort of put it in. So it kind of uses like jets to get it down there. I've tried to make it flip a few different times and I haven't been able to. It just always finds its way onto its tracks. There it goes. You can see it just turned on and kicked off. So it's just gonna do the ground. So it should just go up the sides a little bit and then realize it's going up and then kind of turn around. And it's supposed to do it in like a, a cross pattern, just like you would have your vacuum or whatever inside your house. 
So it took about a minute. You can see the water started to kind of move around on the top of the water, showing that the jet was actually working. So now this is just the coolest thing ever. I mean, this kind of thing is going to make owning a pool just so much better because, you know, we have kids in here all the time and there's just a little sand everywhere. I have sand down on the sides of my pool. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I do. And so it just gets all the time, all along, all the seams everywhere along there, especially down here below the ladder. It gets all in there. And so this is going to be really great to just drop it in and not have to worry about trying to clean the bottom of the pool all the time. So when we put it on the wall mode, what we're going to do is see just how well it actually handles really two things. Obstacles like that skimmer I have hanging there, as well as these really challenging corners that it has to try to go up because it can't really, I mean, it, it's rounded and I feel like that's going to pose quite a bit of a challenge for to figure out what to do as well as down here inside the water all around these ladder feet when it tries to get the dirt below it. And after hours of recording and watching it work, here are my thoughts. And so let me set for you what my expectations were and what I imagine most potential buyers would also want before making this investment. So obviously I would need it to clean the bottom of the pool, just pick up all the junk down there. I would need it to not get stuck on obstacles and I would need it to clean my water line. And finally, at the end of the day, when I pull it out of the pool and check the filter, I want to make sure there's a lot of stuff in there so I have proof it is actually working and not just shuffling around the dirt. And I have to say, it did all of that very well with a few exceptions, which we'll talk about in a minute. So first, let's talk about the ladder obstacle. I thought it would have a challenge with this, but to be honest, even with it climbing over its legs and bumping into it, the vacuum didn't get confused or stuck once. Even when cleaning the walls, it had no problem ramming into it, then resetting its position and worked its way all the way underneath. I don't know if it was just me hoping, but the vacuum seemed to be trying multiple angles to get the same area before it finally decided to move on and call good enough good enough. Next was the pool skimmer test. I thought if anything was going to mess it up, it would be this one because I figured when it hit the tube, it would flip it or somehow mess up its orientation. Once again, I was proven wrong. Obviously, it couldn't clean above the obstacle, but it eventually worked its way around it. Next was the filter intake. This it had no problem with. In fact, it climbed right over it and stayed there scrubbing. It even scrubbed off the previous water lines on the intake cap. And it did the same thing with the other smaller filter connections, just climbing right over it. And to my surprise, not one time did the filter hit an obstacle and get thrown off the wall. The suction appears to be plenty sufficient for this. Now you are not supposed to run these things with people in the pool for many reasons, but I just had to know. When I stood in front of the vacuum, it just treated me like a wall and tried to climb me. Nothing on it hurt me or scratched me or in any way. So were it to be in there with a small child, I don't think that it is in too much danger. If anything, I think the vacuum is in more danger from the child. Now for the very curved sidewalls on my pool. This again was no problem. You can see that as it goes up the walls to the very top, there comes a point when it is more upside down than not. And you can see as it goes up the walls, often only the top four inches or so were even touching, but still it never failed to make it up and it stayed in scrub the whole time all the way around. Now there was one area it did fail in and that was with the corners for two reasons. First, because of the shape of the corners, it was unable to pick up dirt and sand in those corners. The corners are just the right size and angles to where the vacuum was unable to get squared and create suction with the ground. Oftentimes, one of the tracks was way off the ground and just never made contact. However, I imagine over time as the pool is played in, the sand would be moved around, and each night as it got cleaned, most of the sand would be captured. Now, the second problem, again, is with the corners, and that is that it would often throw the vacuum off of its route or try to. The good thing is it always came back and it kept trying, but often it would get kind of stuck, not knowing really where it was supposed to go because it would go halfway up the wall. And because it was off kilter with only one of the tracks touching, oftentimes it would end up spinning at the top and floating down to the bottom. Or if it didn't do that, it would go back up and come back down and go back up the exact same path again, sometimes two or three different times. Then it seemed like it would go to the other side like it was gonna move on, only to come back down and restart the process all over again. At one point, it was in that same corner for about 15 minutes before it did finally move on, but that's the key. It did eventually finally move on. Now this is a bit of an annoyance because it does take a little bit of time there and it does burn battery, but at the end of the day, it still did complete the full cleaning all the way around the pool. And even though those corners threw it for a loop, it wasn't enough of one to stop it. All right, so at the end of the day, what matters is, is it actually picking up sand and stuff all over the bottom of this pool with all the siding issues and the different contours it has to deal with in this pool? Is it actually working? And the only one way I can think of to figure that out is to look at the filter 
and see what's in there. All right, and it looks like there's a lot in there. Looks like you got all kinds of hair in there and sand and leaves and all kinds of nasty stuff. Looks like there's even spiders in there. So I guess what it comes down to is as it's in the pool, it's filtering water through it as well as cleaning the sides and scrubbing it down. All things that I don't have to do manually. And like I said at the beginning of the video, pool maintenance can be a lot. And cleaning the pool consumes a lot of time. So it's great that something like this exists that can actually do that job for you. And remember, we're gonna be reviewing the S1 Pro next month and taking a look at all the new features and upgrades with that model. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this technology as cool as I do. And I'll see you guys on the next video.